So just to kind of recap, in part one, we talked about academic language and disciplinary literacy and how we have this heavy weighting of complex syntax in these types of, um, I would say, conversations and texts, but especially in texts that children are encountering in school. We learned that the three most difficult complex sentence structures that children need to understand or people need to understand are adverbial clauses, object complement clauses, and relative clauses. And we also decided that if we want to find those main and subordinate clauses in sentences, the first thing we need to do is find the verbs and then we can pull out or parse out those different clauses. So now, in part two, our objective is to be able to describe how complex syntax skills develop in children and contrast that with development or contrast developmental norms with educational standards. So first we're going to look at what education standards say about sentence structure and when different sentence types should be mastered. Then we'll take a look at developmental norms for sentence structure based on research about when children start using complex sentence types and then we will try to develop some rationale for addressing complex sentence structures early so I mean early childhood preschool and throughout the kindergarten through 12th grade years so um, hopefully that last part um, is piquing your interest about really do we should we can we really address complex sentences with our very youngest learners in preschool now, back on track, what does all of this mean? So we've talked about educational standards and developmental norms, um, but when we really look at this, we need to think about developmental norms. Um, not that educational standards don't matter, but we know from looking at child language development that children very early, before they even get into preschool, start using complex sentences. And so if you have a child that isn't using and understanding complex sentences when they get into kindergarten, most likely there are syntax deficits in their language profile that are going to cause them difficulty understanding understanding what their teachers are saying to them, expressing their language um, for social communication, like telling somebody why they did something or why they don't want them to do something, and for educational purposes. And you might be saying, really? Really? Well, yeah. So let's look at some textbooks. So this comes from the Reading Street textbook for grade one, early grade one, and it's a little story called Where Are My Animal Friends, written by William Chin. And here are some of the sentences we see in that first grade story that a child is expected to read and understand. Then we won't see Caterpillar until spring, when he'll be a butterfly is a relative clause that tells us more about spring. Uh, the next one, I must fly away to where it is warm. That's an object complement clause there. It tells us where they're going to fly to. And then I will see if bear is at home, that is an adverbial clause. So first grade reading material. And of course it continues. Here's a science textbook from grade five. Scientists theorize that about 4.5 billion years ago, Earth formed from a giant cloud of gas and dust. And you can read the other sentences there. Um, they are very complex. And remember our, our Common Core State Standards said, yeah, by third grade, end of third grade, they need to be using complex sentences. But we see very complex language being used in this fifth grade text. 